morning welcome to day three of vlogmas it is wednesday the 6th of december rufus is banging the door and i'm about to start into doing lots of dishes here and over there then um i think we're going to go out for a nice walk on the beach and we'll see what happens after that so enjoy the vlog <laughs> We've just arrived here at the beach so we're going to go for a nice walk there's no one else here which is great and um, it's a lovely morning so I'm looking forward to this
about to get some lunch and I just wanted to briefly show you my finished hot water bottle cover which I am absolutely delighted with. I'm really proud of it. I think it looks really effective and really good and it keeps a hot water bottle really warm for a lot longer. I mean it was still kind of warm this morning when I got up which was so nice um, and it obviously doesn't burn your feet as much. Um, also it's really good because it feels really nice to hold and I just think my colour choices were really good. Not that I'm blowing my own trumpet but they turned out really really nice. This kind of muted chic colour palette kind of almost monochrome but not quite because there's these little bits of this green gold colour through it. I don't know if you can see them. I haven't blocked it. I could block it but I probably won't bother to be honest. Um, but yeah I would definitely like to knit another one of these but I probably won't knit another one until this time next year. I have another hot water bottle without a cover and next year's one I would maybe like to do it in naturally dyed scraps of my limited edition yarns that I've kind of collected up. Um, so that's on the cards. I'm ready to cast a few things on. I would like to do one, I think one gift knit. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I want to make the Stjarna pattern um, a little star decoration pattern for a friend. Though I don't know if I'm going to get it done in time. What date is it? The 6th of December? Um, so there's that. And also I have uh, wound up a ball of Hello Stella Cormo that I got a while ago as a birthday present to myself. I got three skeins and I'm going to make a vest with them. But I'm going to have a little go making a swatch and see if I need to hold something with it just to kind of bulk it up a bit just to get enough for to make a vest. Um, the Sophie scarf is still at the back of my mind. I don't feel like knitting that right now because my Michaela shawl is kind of similar but it's a lot bigger obviously. Um, and what else would I like to knit? I obviously have to finish my first sweater. I'm so close to finishing, but I don't feel like I want to work on it right now um, because I have to rip out my mistakes, fix, and then re-knit again. So that feels kind of different to, um, yeah, doing a project, like casting on something new. I would also like to cast on my Ola yoke. Now, it's been so long since I've done the swatch for that that I can't quite remember the needle size. I I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got a good idea, but I'm not 100% sure. So I don't know whether to re-knit this watch or um, or just go with what I think it is. I also um, had to do some maths for that, which I had completely figured out, um, but I don't think I wrote it down anywhere. So I'm gonna have to do that all again, I think, which is very frustrating. If I get, I just, I just really need to cast it on pretty much. I think it's bottom up, so I won't be doing the colour work section for like quite a long time. Um, but I just think that would be such a nice knit to work on over the winter. It's a four ply, kind of between four ply and sport weight, or that's what I'm using for it. It's quite a lightweight jumper. Um, also, There's just a lot of things I would like to knit. Like today when I was on the walk, I was thinking, oh, I really could do with some warm mittens or even fingerless gloves. But I think ones, I'd like a pair of fingerless gloves just for like doing general stuff. And then like a pair of like color work mittens because I would like a pair. I'm going to use my used wool, um, which is in the shop right now. I'm going to use it to knit myself a pair of colourwork gloves but I might not start that until January potentially. Um, so I have a lot of ideas for what I'd like to knit. I don't know maybe I'm just I go through phases of having 
loads of things I want to cast on and then going through other phases where I like I don't really know what to cast on I don't really like anything I'm just not sure what to do so it's I like being in this phase so yes this did not take very long to knit actually it looks as if it would take quite a long time but it only took I would say less than a week definitely less than a week in fact the bottom of it was with Judy's Magic Cast On, which I had never done before. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. It's so cool. Very into that. So that's that. <laughs> I was able to go through the pattern and decipher my notes uh, about what size to cast on. So that saved a lot of time and effort, which was fantastic. As you can hear, there's work happening outside our house. It's quite loud, to be honest. And um, we've got the fire on very very nice and cozy it's quite a cold day today it was very cold on the beach earlier um i guess i should show you what i did on sunday actually i made two macrame plant holders um one of them i have been meaning to make for a long time and i finally did it which is i'm so, I'm so pleased about i mean it's certainly not perfect it's hanging up there that's why i'm looking up but um, I just really wanted to get the plants off the windsill because the wee girl keeps pulling them down um, and it just made this area feel very cluttered to me so I did that I just followed a tutorial on YouTube and it worked fine I mean they're not amazing looking but they're not terrible either so I'll just show them to you It's the next day, we're on our way to the park here. I've got a few things to do today, including getting my hair done. And I'd like to make my wreath today, so we'll see how that goes. White as the lily flower, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to be our sweet Saviour. The rising of the sun, the running of the it's snowing! I can't believe it. It never snows here usually, so this is so nice. Are we excited about the snow, everybody? As red as any flower, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to do our sinners good. The rising of the sun. The running of the deer, the playing of the merry organ, sweet singing in the choir. The holly bears a prickle, as sharp as any farm. Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ on Christmas Day in the morn. The rising of the sun, the running of the deer, the playing of the merry organs, sweet singing in the choir. Jesus 
So back in from the walk, I'm doing some work stuff now and I'm trying to figure out how to put a test knit together. I'm a little bit nervous because I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. Um, I think I'm going to use Google Docs, possibly. Not sure. Um, but I've my tester sorted and um, I just need to figure out how to do this now. So this is how my hair turned out from yesterday. To me, it looks very similar to how it was before. Not sure how I feel about that. And um, was hoping for a bit more, a wee bit blonder maybe, but anyway. Gonna figure out how to do this test knit. And then I need to figure out my plan for next year. And um, there's lots of things I need to figure out, schedule and stuff and stuff like that. I probably don't know if I'll have time today, but I'm gonna give it a go. Um, so I'll see how that all goes. And because I always forget to sign off, I'm gonna say bye bye here until next time. Bye.